Hi, welcome to the webinar that 1450 is putting on on behalf of Andrea. I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Steven Kruger from 1450, and I would like to present uh, Doug and Kathy from Andrea who are going to give you a little bit um, of a presentation about Andrea Electronics and how exciting all their te new technologies are along with the staple lines that they have that will definitely um, or definitely should be put in front of your customers' lines. So without ado, go ahead and take it away, Kathy and Doug. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate um, all that you and Ashley and 1450 has done this month to help promote Andrea products. We very much appreciate that. Um, what we'd like to do, I think, is get started with, uh, I'll turn it over to Doug to talk a little bit about the history of um, Andrea and where we have come from and where we are right now. Um, why don't you also mention what you do here? Sure. Okay. Um, in addition, um, I have been here for about nine years now. Um, I am an account executive is my title, but we all do a little bit of everything here. Um, it's a great place to work. It's like a family-owned business, even though it is a public uh, company. We've got a great crew here, and um, we appreciate very much the uh, again the opportunity with 1450 to reach out to some of our customers um, directly and talk about uh, our products. So good morning. Hi, I'm Douglas Andrea. I'm the president and CEO of Andrea Electronics Corporation. And thank you for joining this morning. Um, we'll get right into it. So we'll go to the next slide. isn't going right now. <laughs> okay. Should be just hitting the there we, there we go. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So we got past that first uh, technical <laughs> difficulty. So can the people on the line ask questions? Is it live? So Stephen, can the um, they have to type in questions? Yes. If anyone has any questions, feel free to either shoot me an email, give me a chat, or actually in the webinar, you should be able to type in your questions directly to uh, to Doug and Kathy. Um, but as always, if you ha if anyone that's attending has any questions after the fact, feel free to give me a ring, and I'll be able to get the answers for you. All right, because we'd like to be, it, we'd like this to be as um, you know productive, and and if anybody has questions while we're on the call, we could try to answer those. Um, but moving right along, um, so so Kathy is in sales, and she's the person that takes care of a lot of the um, uh, customers that have questions and place orders. So um, she she does a very good job at that uh, with some other people on our team. Uh, so Andrew Electronics tries to provide, uh, you know, customer service and support uh, along with our products as well. So the first slide just shows that the, um, the company has been in business for 80 years now. It was founded by my grandfather, Frank Andrea, and he was a pioneer in radio and television. And so um, if you Google um, the brand FADA, F-A-D-A, uh, it's actually one of the most um, famous radios that were being produced back in the 1920s. Um, later on, we got into defense military communications. And in that environment, noise was a big issue. And then um, in the late 80s, when I joined the company, I started focusing on noise cancellation technologies. And that's where we started developing uh, the microphones that are in use today for no canceling noise and enhancing speech recognition. So um, we have to use the because we're too far away. Go back to the mouse. Okay, and then some r recent uh, history. You know, we developed uh, microphone headsets. 
that in the uh, late 90s shipped with IBM via voice and obviously Dragon naturally speaking. Our customers wanted to um, talk to the computer from a distance, so we developed, we were the first company to develop the Array microphone, and we did that with Microsoft for an automotive computer. And then over the years, we've um, improved our product line, and we have the most uh, models of headsets approved by Dragon that have the six, uh, Dragon, six Dragons rating. Uh, some of the uh, array technology that we've developed has gone into um, all kinds of devices, uh, webcams, uh, small tablet computers, and um, to date we've shipped about 600 million computers with our beam forming and noise reduction uh, technology. So it's not just the actual headsets and microphones and hardware that the consumers see, there's actually, Andrea, technology and array microphones in a lot of these computers as well. So we have a, a kind of an underground presence as well in the market that some people are just not aware that they're actually using Andrea product. So uh, on this slide, uh, not a lot of um, pictures, but basically goes over the points I made, um, especially the customer service and technical support that the team provides to the products, um, you know, we we focus on building a quality product. We believe we have um, uh, satisfied customers. When customers have any problems, we try to be as uh, spontaneous and and reliable as possible. So, focusing now more on computer headsets. Uh, that's really where it is our expertise in computer headsets. We typically don't um, do much with headsets that attach to, you know, the telephone that might be on your desk. Uh, so clearly the applications for the computer headset would be uh, speech recognition and, you know, uh, the Skype and the voice over IP and the video conferencing and, and definitely the um, voice over IP Video conferencing is getting more popular with Windows 8 now. I know that uh, Microsoft has bundled Skype now with that operating system, so it's just becoming more of a uh, standard mode of communication using your computer. So there's some issues with that that we've focused on improving. Clearly, background noise is annoying. Um, you know, poor microphone elements, which are the actual little sensors that go in the end of the boom. Uh, they need to be uh, scrutinized and, and, de and designed properly. Um, the location, obviously, you know, placing the microphone close to your mouth for, for good quality speech recognition and, and, and keeping that uh, every time you use the headset uh, is important. And we found it can be annoying, too. So we came up with a line of uh, headsets called Superbeam, and those are boom-free headsets. Uh, they don't have the highest degree of accuracy like a boom microphone does, but they definitely give you the convenience of not having a boom. And so those were very unique. Uh, that was combining our array technology with the concept of a headset. And so those are really good for more of the Skype and video conferencing because you actually look a lot nicer when you don't have any boom in front of your mouth when you're on a video call. Um, clearly, we are experts in designing the um, acoustics for the headsets, the, the microphone housing, the earphone housings. And, um, you know, we find a lot of the computers today, they're just designing them for cost. So they really don't have the greatest sound system. Uh, they can be kind of noisy. So uh, we've come up with a line of USB uh, audio peripherals which bypass the computer uh, sound system. And then obviously comfort's a, a, a major issue. It's got to be lightweight, and it's got to be adjustable, and uh, the comfort of the headset, because you're wearing it for long periods of time, that, that's very important. So these are some of the factors that uh, we take into account for uh, designing a quality and comfortable and well-performing headset. So uh, kind of what we're all about, uh, one of our trademarks is pure audio. And so 
we try to be as high fidelity as possible and really push the limit with our technology. So uh, coming out of that military, uh, defense military electronics background, uh, noise was always a problem and an intelligibility was the key for performance. And um, it really mattered with speech recognition, getting rid of the noise and increasing the voice uh, performance gave you better speech recognition. And it just for all types of communications, Skype, uh, it sounds better when you can eliminate the noise and have a wider bandwidth of, of the voice quality. So this is a little, um, a little picture of a, of a screen grab where we've got a before and after. So before, the speech is actually in there, but there's so much noise. And then after we put it through noise cancellation, we, um, you can see a tremendous improvement in the signal to noise ratio. So I think we see, um, you might use the scroll on the right side. There's a little okay. up down arrow there next to ask here, yeah. Might be able to go up. So there's, there's a question here we're looking at. We're going to try to read this one. Any data on the percentage noise canceled by the various headset microphones? Okay, so the, 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 the question is any data, data of the percent of noise canceled by the various headsets. So, you know, if we, if we look at the, the NC181 and the NC185, um, they do have the same microphone capsule design. And so we're getting about 20 dB of background noise cancellation, so it's very significant. And uh, those so our current boom microphones get uh, about the best noise cancellation you can achieve. Um, they're equivalent to military type microphones that you would see being used out in the field with um, all kinds of air aircraft and armored vehicles. So it's, uh, it's at a military uh, performance level. And then we can enhance that performance. That's just the noise canceling mic itself. We can enhance that by having additional digital noise cancellation uh, with our Audio Commander software that, that runs in tandem with the USB um, products. So here we uh, talk about, uh, you know, probably reiterating what I've said in the previous slide. Uh, we're really about the pure audio USB solution to bypass the computer and really give you a complete solution from, uh, from connector to, to microphone. We give you the USB audio sound card. Uh, we give you the quality headset and microphone. And then we also have um, the ability to do some software optimization. So this shows the, the USB uh, adapter. We have a USB MA, which is a microphone only, uh, which just simplifies it if you want to just improve the quality of the mic. And then um, our mainstream product would be the USB SA, which supports not only a mono microphone signal, but the stereo microphone signal. So that will support our uh, stereo array microphone. It also will support our stereo array Superbeam headsets, as well as you can plug a standard uh, mono boom microphone into that. And then it also has a stereo output jack for um, high fidelity uh, listening, because clearly when you're on your computer, you want to have um, good sound for listening to YouTube videos or music or games. So that's our, that's our, our, our audio platform that we um, have as a standard across most of our products. And then as I mentioned, we have um, patented software that can enhance the sound quality of the USB audio and the associated headset. So here we have um, our audio commander. Uh, the same technology can also run um, on the Mac. So this is the PC version. And you can go to our website, and you can see on our home page there's the software section, and you can download this for Mac or PC. Um, 
it is security linked to our um, USB sound card. So the sound card will report itself to the software and then it'll enable all the filters, um, the equalizer, the noise cancellation. Uh, if you plug just some other random USB headset into a computer that has our software, um, you won't get all of the technical features uh, that this software uh, possesses. So when you buy our products that are USB enabled, this is a free download that can enhance the product. Um, typically, we don't recommend using noise cancellation for the close talking mic for speech recognition. It's not necessary. Um, mostly, we recommend the, the digital noise cancellation for some more of the uh, video conferencing or Skype type applications. Yeah, we definitely don't want the Dragon folks um, using the filters. Um, it will create a little bit of frustration. So. Um, it definitely is not particularly for that application. Yeah, yeah. typically what we find is that the, the Dragon software um, is looking for a basic microphone signal. So when we do our noise reduction process in the digital stream, it tends to confuse what their uh, little wizard is trying to do with setting up the mic. So those two algorithms um, sometimes can hinder the performance of the mic setup. So if you disable that, um, everything seems to work fine. Mm -hmm. So does anybody have any other questions for us? Okay. And we uh, do plan another webinar for the end of the month to discuss our wireless products. Um, and in, in addition, we have a nice giveaway package that we've work with 1450 with for the SuperBeam product because that is something that is not as well known in the speech recognition uh, business, that particular product. So we'd like to expose that to our audience a little bit as well. So there'll be a nice uh, giveaway package and then we have another surprise uh, that 1450 is working on as well for uh, their giveaway for the end of the month. And we hope we have the opportunity to chat again about the wireless product coming up in the next two weeks. So look for information about that webinar. Well, we thank everyone for taking the time to uh, listen to us and your interest in our products. Uh, please feel free to send any questions or comments to Stephen at 1450. Uh, we'd like to be as responsive and uh, customize our products to serve your needs as, as best as possible. Thank you, everyone.